The Zach's Rank, Value, Momentum, Growth and Income all factor into Zach's Rank Buys. Market Solutions and Gambling, two companies in two different industries that top this go around for the aggressive growth stock picks. Brian Bolin is going to favor us with uh, the rationale behind each of these picks. <laughs> You're the aggressive growth guy here. So. You know, aggressive growth investing is gambling in a way, right? You I don't just, know. You uh, got to control the uh, the risk scenario that you're willing to accept. All right. Well, let's talk about this company, Inner Workings. This is a market solutions company, right? What does that mean? Exactly? Right. You know, that's the type of stuff where uh, you're, you're, you're giving marketing type items. So, uh, you know, like your pens or maybe uh, like a charger for a cell phone, like oh. a little battery, portable battery. They're going put your name on it that sort of thing right well, we used to call them printed products exactly that sort of thing mm -hmm. uh, you know but I think the real idea here for this stock and why I like this one is I think that your risk is pretty small on this one so uh, you know I, I used to really like the stock it was in my uh, uh, investor service stocks under 10 yeah that I run here at Zach's until it ran up over 10 <laughs> well you know it uh, it ran at just about to 10 and I think we sold it just underneath 10 uh, yeah. Held it for about a year, a little bit more, so you'd get the long-term capital gain, uh, you know, tax uh, on that. So not the high short-term tax. Right. Uh, but I think we had a gain of about 40%, uh, pretty good. But I, I've I've kept my eye on it since, and um, you know, the stock just keeps on performing. And now that it is over $10, I can't buy it, but I can share it here uh, in this video. So let's take a look at the screen here. We see. It is a Zach's rank number one strong buy. Mm -hmm. uh, it has that growth style score of A, which is something I always love to see, and has a value score of A, not something I always want to see on the two of those, but uh, it's okay right now. Forward PE of 23 times is uh, a little bit rich, but not too bad. You can see the stock has really been hanging out at that $10 level here. You know, we sold it back uh, around here in February, but now running up uh, to just short of $11 here ahead of earnings, which are going to be on May 8th. If we take a look at the estimates, you know, estimates haven't moved that much. Uh, but, you know, we've seen uh, for this quarter, actually, estimates have come in a little bit. So the bar is a little bit lower, a little bit easier for them to uh, fall over, if you will. Okay. Um, but for the year, they've, they've inched just a little bit higher. And for next year as well. One thing I do want to point out here about this stock is it has a very good uh, history of beating the number. And we can see that here in the most recent beats. You know, the average surprise is 96% uh, here. Uh, so that is something we really like to see. So if we look at the chart, we can see each one of those beats, you know, here, 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 here. A lot of beats uh, on this type place. of stock. So when you have that and you see the stock moving as well in a very positive way, you know, with these beats, mm -hmm. uh, that's something that investors really like to see. So you've got a little bit of time here to do a little bit more homework on inner workings, INWK. Uh, but I like it. I like it to beat again. I like it to, to move higher after the beat. Yeah, moving up clearly is what investors like to see. <laughs> you know, moving up is definitely what we want to see. If we're uh, aggressive growth, you know, you're not necessarily right. shorting the stock in aggressive growth. Got it. Century Casino is the other company. Now, they also report on May the 8th. Have you and I talked about this? Yes, we talked about this one a long time ago, and I thought this was going to be a big pick for last year. Mm -hmm. uh, didn't work out so great, but uh, again, kept my eye on it because, you know, it, these stocks, they have a way of, you know, coming back around again. Uh, you know, this one is a Zach's rank number one strong buy again. So we got that A in growth and a B in value, and I really like this forward P of only. Uh, 15, you know, 14.8 right here. Um, it, it is a smaller cap company, you know, and we look at the estimates and there has been some good movement here from 44 cents to 56 cents. Next year is still holding steady at 51 cents, but I would imagine uh, analysts need some visibility on that number. So they're going to be, uh, you know, looking at estimates again. You know, different story here for Century Casinos as opposed to Inner Workings. They had missed four quarters in a row, but then just flipped the script here by beating last quarter. Uh, so if we take a look at the chart, we can see we saw we see these four misses here, but that last quarter here, a nice, big, huge beat, 83% positive earning surprise. Yeah. Uh, so looking for more of that again. You know, we've seen other larger casinos report pretty strong quarters. I think um, MGM Today, uh, Las Vegas Sands very recently, you know, the, some good numbers. Wynn Casinos uh, mm -hmm. was a 7 or 8% winner. Uh, the other day as well. So 
if the big boys are doing well, you know, on the strip in Las Vegas and in China and Macau, you know, Century Casinos is one of those smaller plays, so it's not necessarily on the strip or in Vegas. But if if people are going to the casino and feel that they have that disposable cash, especially in Vegas, mm. uh, they're probably going to have it, uh, you know, at their local casino as well. Well, if you drive by the parking lots of some of these places, it doesn't seem like it's something that's going to go out of style anytime right? soon. Right? I mean, there's people always need to get their fix, Terry, one way or another. Apparently. You know, my fix is this blue jacket now. I see that, yeah. Uh, it, now, this is your new trademark jacket. My new trademark. Maybe we'll flip it around again. I don't know. We'll see what the people say. Yeah. See, but they're going to, you got to do something about the t-shirt. All right. I'll work on that. Uh, all right. Do you own either of these two? I do not. Okay. Check out more stock information. That's on our website, zax.com. If you're not there already, get on over. Link to it all right off the homepage. Commentary, stock picks, stock picking strategies, and more. With Brian, I'm Terry Ruffalo.